guys, and welcome back to my channel. Many of you know that I have a weekly game night with my friends that I love to just have my homemade fries available for, but it wasn't until recently that I found an incredible dip, a quick and easy garlic aioli. It's about five minutes total prep, cut, whatever time, and you can either serve it straight away, put it in the fridge for an hour, and whip it out. It is amazing. Let's get to it. Ingredients you'll need. One mixing bowl, three cloves of garlic, one pinch of cayenne, two tablespoons of lemon juice or lemon juice to taste, and a cup of mayonnaise. It can be vegan if you like. Oh, hey, old format this time. Just look down and yep. Remove your garlic from their skins and cut or crush them until they are in small bits. It's important that they're not whole because their flavor profile is incredibly important and essentially this aioli is trash without them. Once you've done that, put them in the bowl with the mayonnaise. Extract lemon juice from your lemon! Mine is seeded, so I strain it through a sieve. If you're not feeling confident in your guessing ability, measure out the tablespoons. Dump in the cayenne, but be careful. Once you put it in, there's no way of getting it back out. Mix everything all together, and you've got your aioli. Taste it with clean hands before you put it in the fridge or serve it. I decided mine needed more cayenne, so I'll just add that really quick. If you're going to chill it, put a lid or cover on the bowl and let it sit for at least one hour before serving it cold. You can use it on pasta or some sandwiches, but it's too heavy for fish. You already know I use it weekly on my homemade fries, so make sure to check out that video if you haven't already. I'll link it in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more content. I'll see you all next time. Take care.